Hey everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. In this video I will show you how to make a beautiful striped sweater with different colors. It might look difficult, but you will be surprised by how simple this pattern actually is. This pattern is available in size S up to 5XL. You can find a free written pattern on my website, I will put the link in the description below. In this video I will be working on size small. If this is the first time you're watching my videos, please subscribe to my channel and click on that bell button. This way you will receive notifications when I upload new free patterns. I have used Lion Brand Superwash Merino yarn in color brown, pink, grey and off-white. You will also need crochet hook size 6mm. We will start with working 51 foundation double crochet. I will quickly show you how to make a foundation double crochet. We will chain 4, yarn over, insert your hook in the first chain and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through one loop. This counts as a chain. Now yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. This counts as your double crochet. Then yarn over, insert your hook in the chain that we just created. Yarn over, pull through one, this is the chain. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Or if you don't know how to make this, you can also start with chains and work double crochet stitches into the chain. I highly recommend to use foundation double crochet because it's more stretchy. So go ahead and work 51 foundation double crochet and I will see you at the end. And now I will chain three and turn. In row 2 we will start with a double crochet in the first stitch and then we repeat the following till the end. One front post double crochet in the next stitch. And one back post double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat this till the end and I will see you there. We will end with a front post double crochet and then work one double crochet in the last stitch. Chain 3 and turn your work. In row 3 we will start with a double crochet in the first stitch and repeat the following till the end. One back post double crochet in the next stitch and one front post double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat to the end. We will end with a back post double crochet in the next stitch and a double crochet in the last stitch. Chain 3 and turn your work. In row 4 we will repeat row 2. We have now finished our ribbing. In row 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 we will work one double crochet in each stitch across and end the row with a chain 3 and turn.
In row 10, we will work one double crochet in the first stitch. Skip the next stitch and work a puff stitch in the next stitch. Repeat this to the end, so we skip one and work a puff stitch in the next stitch. At the end we will skip a stitch, work one double crochet in the last stitch. While we work the last double crochet, we will change to the next color. Chain 3 and turn our work. In row 11 we will work one double crochet in the first stitch. Skip the next puff stitch and work a puff stitch in each gap between the puff stitches. Repeat this till the end. We will end with a puff stitch in the last chain space between the puff and double crochet. Work a double crochet in the last stitch and chain 3. In row 12 we will work one double crochet in the first stitch. One double crochet in the next chain space. And one double crochet in the next puff stitch. Repeat this till the end. We will end with a double crochet in the last chain space, one double crochet in the last stitch, chain 3 and turn your work. Row 13 to 17 we will work one double crochet in each stitch across. Now we will repeat row 10 to 17 three more times. Make sure to change color in the last stitch of row 10 before you start with row 11. In row 42 we will work one double crochet in each stitch across. Chain 3 and turn your work. For size small, you will need to repeat row 42 until row 43, so that means one more row of double crochet stitches. We will now continue with the neckline. For the neckline, we will only work a certain amount of stitches on both sides. In row 1, we will work 1 double crochet in the next 12 stitches.
chain three and turn your work. Repeat this one more time. So we work one double crochet in each stitch till the end. Repeat this on the other side. For the back panel, we are going to repeat row 1 to 42 from the front panel. Then we will repeat row 42 until row 45 or the number that's mentioned for your size. Now lay both panels on top of each other and seam both sides together. Begin at the bottom, work your way up and leave 14 rows open or 7 inch for the armhole. Repeat this on the other side. Now sew the shoulders on both sides. Weave in all ends and turn your work inside out. It's time for the sleeves. For the sleeves, we are going to join yarn in the first stitch of the armhole. We are going to work in continuous rounds, which means we don't make a slip stitch at the end of a round. In round one, we will chain three, which does not count as a stitch. And we will work one double crochet in the first stitch. We will repeat the following till the end of the round. Two double crochet in the next stitch. And one double crochet in the next stitch. I'll see you at the end. We will end with two double crochet stitches in the last stitch. You now have a total of 42 stitches or the amount on the left side for your size. In round two, we will work one double crochet in each stitch around. In round 3, we will start with a double crochet 2 together, which means we work the first 2 stitches together and finish it off as 1 stitch. Then we continue working 1 double crochet in each stitch around. We are now going to repeat row 2 and 3 until round 33. This means we work one round where we work one double crochet in each stitch, followed by a round where we start with a decrease and work a double crochet in the remaining stitches. I will see you at the end where you should have 26 stitches. One more tip about the sleeve. I personally made all the decreases at the same spot, so I always made the decreases in the armhole or the bottom of the sleeve. Depending on your size, you need to repeat row 2 a few more times. For size small and medium, we will immediately continue with the cuff. We will work one front post double crochet in the next stitch. And one back post double crochet in the next stitch. 
repeat this till the end. Repeat row 1 until row 3, so this means we repeat the row 2 more times. I will end with an invisible join, which means we skip one stitch, insert the needle in the next stitch, and insert the needle in the back loop of the last stitch that we made, weave in the ends, and make a sleeve on the other side. Now it's time for the last part, the neckline ribbing. We will join yarn in the first stitch of the front panel and work in continuous rounds. Don't worry too much about where you need to insert your hook, just make sure you will end up with an even amount of stitches worked evenly around the neckline. We will start with a front post double crochet and work a back post double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat this across until you have 28 stitches. Then we work one double crochet in the next five spaces and the chain spaces are created by the double crochet stitches which are sideways. So we work on the side of the double crochet. And then we work one back post double crochet in the next stitch. And one front post double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat this across until you have 28 stitches. And one double crochet in the next five spaces. You should now have a total of 66 stitches. In round 2, we will work one front post double crochet in the next stitch and one back post double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat this till the end. Repeat round 2 one more time.
fast enough and weave in all the ends. And that's it! I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which yarn and colors you are going to use. Hope to see you next time! Bye!